Since 2009, the federal government has said climate change puts Americans and their health in danger. But in July, the Trump administration started to reverse that with two documents. This is key to U.S. policy regulating gases that trap heat. So at the AP, we sent hundreds of emails to scientists, including about 200 of them whose work was referenced in the report. We got 62 responses. 52 were negative, 7 were positive. 15 different scientists said their work had been misused or taken out of context, and a handful of others said it had been accurate. In one case, the Department of Energy said Arctic sea ice has shrunk only 5% since 1980. It linked to a chart, but that chart showed data from Antarctica, the South Pole. The authors said they'll fix it. The reports use data for wildfires that show a graph that's saying wildfires aren't getting much worse. But on the page before, they said the same data they used was unreliable. We asked them to give a grade, like a professor gives an undergrad. 19 of the 41 grades that we got were F. One scientist gave it a grade of R for ridiculous. Scientists said the reports were biased, misinterpreted the science, cherry-picked the data, and at times were just plain wrong. 